This is going to be a fun video for me to make, but maybe not as fun for you to watch because I'm going to be diving today. I'm at a spot that I've been to before. I've done really, really well here up to like my neck deep in water. And I'm thinking that with some scuba gear, I can go out a little bit deeper and see if there's more stuff out further. And part of the reason I'm very hopeful is that as you get out a little ways, the bottom is very hard and slippery and it goes down steep. So I'm hoping that some of the types of things I've found here before may have been out further and have rolled down the hill and flood. So maybe there's a bunch of them out there just a little ways. I'll show you my rig anyway, what I'm going to do. Try to get you stuff on, some stuff underwater, but I can't promise you. So let me show you that first. And I'm definitely going to show you what we do or don't find at the end. I think we're going to find at least a few things. All right, so this is my rig, of course, the boat. And what I do, I do this quite a bit, is I have my scuba tank in here. And instead of wearing it on my back, which means I have to have the BCD and all that weight, I just hook it up here and run it through one of these brownie hoses. And the regulator is right here in the mud somewhere. Yeah. So all I have to do is clean that out a little bit first and put it in my mouth, put on some weights, put on my dive bag and mask, and I can jump right in the water and go. And of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rope on the boat and tie it to my digging bag so the boat will always be right above me with the dive flag. It's much safer for, you know, when there's boats going up and down rivers and whatnot, cause you know, your boat's there. Of course, they don't know what a dive flag is and they'll probably come over, but at least it's not gonna run you over. And, and the boat's right above your head. So when you're like getting cannonballs, Instead of having to go into shore every time and drop them off and come back out, you can just go up, plop them in the boat, and go right back down again. So that's what we're going to do today. Water's really muddy here, but it's clearer out there, so that might be okay. But we got to get in there quick, okay? We don't have a lot of time, and um, well, I'm in a hurry. Let's go. You may have noticed we didn't do so hot that time um found some iron i had to get the metal detector out because there's just too much small iron uh i got another spot that i want to go to that's down river about uh, 300 yards that was really really slick on the bottom this isn't the spot that was really slick and i want to check that out and if that doesn't pan out i got another spot i want to hit where i know we can find some bullets so uh, we're gonna jump in the boat and go down about 100 yards and then get back in so we're at the other area now and we're going to go in here. I'm only going to spend about 10-15 minutes here. I did not find anything here the other time I was, I was at this spot except for some iron that was out deeper, finding a horseshoe and stuff, but it was really slick and I just have a good feeling about it. Uh, we're down river from where we just were, so it might be too cloudy here, I don't know. But we're going to give a quick shot, 15 minutes here. We might go back up to the other spot and come down just a little bit from that. Uh, but let's check this out first. This is going to be the spot. I have a feeling.
So I've been back and forth along this uh, part of the river and I've not found anything I want to keep. A lot of little sinkers and uh, you know, little lead sinkers and just some pieces of lead and whatnot. So we're going to scoot down to an area where I'm pretty sure we're going to find at least some Civil War bullets and hopefully a, uh, a part of a Civil War belt buckle that I found on another trip that I lost. Well, at least it wasn't in my bag when I got home. It's the like inside the puppy paws. Uh, I think they were actually arrow hooks. I think it was just the inside of the, the buckle that was uh, lead was melted out. I don't think it was the kind that was worn, but okay, uh, some of the belt buckles that look like just the inside portion were actually worn like that. But I think this was melted out of a regular one. I'm pretty sure I dropped it. And I know about where it was, and there were bullets there. So. Let's go dig some bullets so we don't get skunked. We still have a little bit of time this evening, so I'm just going to jump in here with all my gear on, and we're going to zip on down the river to that spot. Well, it looks like we did it. A cannonball. All right. I was so afraid I was going to get skunked. I haven't found a single bullet or any relics. Just some nails and sinkers. But now we've got a cannonball. We're going to go right back down to where we found this. It's about probably about 12 feet deep there. And uh, we're going to look for some more. More. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I'm not sure if that's a solid shot or Borman. I don't see any fuse in it. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's throw her in a boat and get back at it. I'm glad we found something, man. I was I was getting kind of kind of a little bit scared there, but I shouldn't have been, should I? Oh, here, I'm gonna turn the camera off and jump back right where I found this one and see if there's any more. They didn't really sound too good at first, but <laughs> I'm glad we kept investigating it. All right. Let's go back in the water. Alright, so we're going to have to call it a day. Um, I want to get the boat loaded and hit the road before it gets dark. 
Uh, didn't find a whole lot, but I did find one cannonball, 12 pounder, and one bullet, and a bunch of other little pieces of junk. Not a lot, though. I thought I'd do a lot better, but I'm not complaining. We're going to come back here again. Absolutely going to come back here again. I was really surprised it was a little bit clear. Uh, I know I didn't get a lot of footage for you underwater. Um, I was just trying to scoot around too much. I think I was too excited today. <laughs> Next time we'll take our time. Oh, and another thing. There's a, there's a video that you have either just seen or are getting ready to see. I don't know. I, I get them out of sequence. Where I, I was complaining at the end of the video saying, Oh, I lost half the bullets that I dug, yada, yada. I thought maybe they had slid under the seat of the boat. Well... That's exactly what happened, because when I was unloading it today, I found a bunch of them, so I got some of them back anyway. These are actually the ones from the other video, um, and uh, there's probably some more under the seat too, so. But anyway, this is what we found today. A 158 caliber mini ball and one 12 pounder. That's a 12 pound solid shot cannonball right there, and it is heavy. Well. It weighs 12 pounds so I imagine there's probably some more out there so we didn't find any but we're gonna come back and look I got a, a half of a horseshoe and some other uh, odds and ends off wagons and stuff got two of these little brass buckles which I'm almost certain that's post-civil war but I'm not 100% I got two of them one a big one and a little one I got them right right off of where I've been finding all the Civil War stuff too, but you know, there's other things. Got a little baby anchor. That would be good for my kayak. A little baby kayak, maybe. <laughs> I like those things. I have I have quite a few of them now, but I kind of like them. Alright, that's about it. Like I said, got a scoot. We'll come back here. Might not be this year because it's getting late in the year. We've got lots of other places we have to go. Uh, but anyway, thanks for joining me. Sorry it wasn't a great video. Next one hopefully will be better. We're going to see you soon. I promise.